this is only the second rehearsal of this new choir. And as well as their love of singing, all the children here have something very special in common. It's made up of children who've had kidney transplants and some of their siblings, including eight-year-old Riley, who had the operation when she was just three. Bye. How do you feel knowing that your daddy gave you one of his kidneys? Happy. <laughs> Usually ask him, like, why do I need so many medicines? Or, like, um, how did you feel when um, you gave me your kidney? When she was born, we knew she needed it, which was difficult. Um, and then it was just about getting her to be the right size to be able to have her kidney from me. And when you look at her now... Yeah, I think sometimes we forget, looking at her now, everything she's been through because she looks so healthy and then you look back to, you know, think back to when she was just before the transplant and, um, yeah, you wouldn't think it was the same child. <laughs> you love singing. Love. I mean, like, love singing. Love singing. OK. The idea of the choir came from one of the transplant surgeons here. I just wanted to give these children here who've been through quite a lot in their lives and, and their families as well, um, something to um, rejoice, to give them a voice, to sing together, to tell people their, you know, to tell their stories together. For those involved in the care and treatment of these kids, it's about so much more than singing. So many people think that a transplant is a big operation and then you're better afterwards. Actually, these children are going to be patients for life. So what we're doing here with this choir is teaching the children as they're growing up some science in between the fun singing. So peer support, fun, and also learning about how to live with their condition. It's really freeing to sing and um, being in the choir has helped me open up. How do you feel when you're singing? Uh, excited. It's just really awesome. I am brave, I am Bruce. The choir, called Harmonies of Hope, is expected to grow and the children will be performing next year to celebrate the 150th anniversary of the work of Evelina, a place that has changed their lives. This is me.